lovely YouTubers, welcome back to my YouTube channel with me, your girl, Morgan Tracy J. Coming today with a new video, and today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you all about how to have powerful and purposeful morning routine and build your YouTube empire. So today, I'm gonna be actually giving you some tips on how my morning routine has really helped me build this thing via YouTube, build my ministry, His Daughter's Closet Incorporated. It's helped me do a lot more things. And so if you're somebody that rolls out of bed and scrolls on Instagram and gets lost in just laying in the bed and never moving, I wanna give you some tips today to truly help adjust your morning routine because guess what guys? Some of these things I was doing even before my YouTube channel is what it is today. Even before I could do my ministry and my YouTube full-time there were some things I was already doing that help establish where I'm at today and so I'm hoping that this video inspires you to inspires your mornings because boo I'm trying to tell you if you can have a powerful and purposeful morning girl you gonna have a powerful and purposeful life okay so anyways let's get into this video okay so I had to show you a little bit of my board back here because I want to tell you before you can just run into running and doing your dreams and doing your vision there's one thing that I always do that really helps me on my journey and that is having devotional time with God I don't know about you, but I equate everything that I've received to the good hand of God. And so for me personally, I have to make sure that I take time in my mornings to have a devotional time with God because it gives me the clarity that I need to move forward in my vision. If you are somebody who doesn't really give yourself that quiet time or that quality time, you're going to always be pouring from an empty cup. You're going to be feeling weird, overwhelmed, confused, lost. So I always encourage to start your day with a time with God that can be prayer prayer journaling, that can be prayer out loud, that can be gratitude journaling, that can be reading your word or reading another devotional book, that can be reading one scripture and affirming it back to yourself over and over again. Whatever it is, you want to make sure that you get yourself a chance to pour out so God can pour back into you. So when you go into your day, you're not moving on fumes, but you're actually moving on grace. And so a big key to my success so far, I have to give it to my devotion time with God. Even when I was inconsistent, even when seasons I didn't really want to go to it, if I continued, no matter if it was morning, afternoon, day, or night, giving that time to God, it always blessed me and it always helped me get more clarity and confidence for my vision. So the very first tip, I gotta tell you, boo, Take some time to do some devotional time with God. This isn't time, this isn't you gotta be in there for an hour, this isn't even you gotta be in there for 10 minutes, but this is you taking time to either journal, write, pour out of yourself, and allow God to pour new words, new fresh wind, anointing ideas, and blessings back into you, okay? So that's the very first thing, boo, is you gotta get on your devotional time. Okay, ladies, so the next tip that I wanna give you on to making sure you're building and establishing this powerful morning routine is you've got to move your body. Now, I didn't say you had to move it for an hour or 30 minutes or you had to do a hit workout on YouTube or that you had to go on the treadmill and do a 12 3 30. I'm not saying that, but I'm challenging you to move your body in any fashion. If it's dancing in your living room real quick, if it's going on a 15 minute walk, for me, sometimes it's walking my dog in the morning. No matter what, you have to decide to move your body, okay? And this doesn't have to be a strenuous workout, but it's a decision decision daily that you're going to move your body forward. You're going to move your body. You're going to get your heart racing. You're going to get some sweat going because this is going to help release endorphins. It's going to help your day. So one big key factor that I challenge you to do in your morning routine is move your body, boo. I didn't say go do a hardcore 45 minute workout. I didn't say that. I'm telling you to move your body. Some days for me, it can be a walk in the morning. Some days it can be a slight jog. Some days it can be on the treadmill. Some days it could just be me dancing in my living room. No matter what it is, you wanna challenge yourself to move your body. And when challenging yourself to move your body, something I love to do is I love to lay out my workout gear the night before. So this right here is very helpful if you're somebody who says, I challenge with actually getting up and doing that thing I said I was gonna do. If you decide to lay out your workout gear, you put your socks by your shoes, you get your water bottle ready or whatever, if you do that the night before, you're already programming yourself to get it done and that really helps me. And I've honestly noticed that if I always lay out my workout clothes or put them together, that really helps me actually get up with the direction and the momentum saying, after devotion, I'm 
heading to the park, I'm heading for a jog, whatever it may be. I challenge myself to do that and it really does help me. And also one of the great thing is many workout gears come in sets, like this one is a two piece set. And so having a two piece set is always really good for me because I don't have to overthink anything. I can just grab it off the hanger, put it on. I might throw on a sweater or a hat and I call it a day and I head out. So hopefully that helps you start your morning powerfully is you gotta move your body, boo. The next thing, I cannot wait to tell you this, but how I have established a strong morning routine is I've always utilized the idea of personal time. You see, I don't necessarily look at my devotion time as my personal time. See, my devotion time is for my heart and mind to be clear, but my personal time is for me physically. This is where I sit down and do my hair, my makeup. I take time to find out outfits that I really like. This is my chance to really create the type of day that I want, but also prepare myself to experience that type of day. So the next tip we're going to talk about is your personal time. This is after you've moved your body. This might be after your shower. This might be taking a little time on your skincare routine. This might be taking a little time to do your hair, whatever, but also dressing like the woman of your dreams. This doesn't mean you need money. This means you use what's already in your closet, but you challenge yourself to dress like the person of your dreams. And I started to do this years ago, even when I started YouTube. Before I was doing it full time, I would challenge myself to dress like the woman that I knew I could be. And so with that being said, that version of myself was always wearing blazers or she was a businesswoman, even though I didn't even have a business yet. And so that's what I would do. I would put a blazer together and wear that in my little office, my little bedroom, and I'd be believing and creating content that one day I was gonna be a businesswoman. Okay, and so I wanna tell you to dress like the better version of yourself. Don't neglect thinking you gotta have all this money to dress like your better version. Just challenge yourself to do little things that really brings your outfits to life. Take a little more time on your personal time with yourself. Take a little more time on how would my better version dress today? So when I'm creating things, I'm always saying, how does she look? And the more you begin to dress and embody that better version, the more you will become her. And also, don't think you need a lot of money to do this. Actually, go into your closet and put together two or three outfits that is specifically from your better version. I did this all through college and I still do this today, okay? Also, if you have a little money, start with something real small. So for example, I got this purse from Shein and I think it was $9. And I love the fact that it was hot pink and it was a great pop of color. So I said, even if I wore a white button up with some tennis shoes and a jean shorts, I can pair this bag and that's a great pop of a fashion statement for me, right? So that was something so little that only cost me like $9, right? And so don't think you have to go spend all this money and get you a whole new wardrobe. No, no, no. I'm telling you, go into your closet and use what you have, but also put new pieces together and don't be, real, don't be afraid to grab something that's a pop of color or something that really pulls on your creative juices, okay? So dress like the woman of your dream. Also, while you're into your personal time, another tip boot is to make sure that you're feeding yourself good quality content okay this means is while I'm doing my hair or I'm getting ready for the day I might be doing my skincare routine I'm always listening to something that is programming me to have the most best day possible and that is a great way for you to get going on your morning routines you don't want to be listening to what's going on in the news right now you don't want to be listening to all the statistics with COVID right now you want to be listening to everything that's going to empower you to have the best day ever you want to be listening to things that's going to improve your attitude Attitude that's gonna give you new understanding and that's gonna get you a vision for your life and more clear focus and inspiration to move forward. And so I'm always listening to either podcasts or sermons or motivational speeches or music that inspires me or pumps me up and gets me ready for my day, right? And so what you wanna do is you wanna do those things too. You wanna make sure that you're programming yourself to have the best day possible because guess what? T today is all you've got. Today is all you got. And so you wanna challenge yourself to use your day to the best of your ability while programming your day with a great, powerful, inspirational, good words that's gonna empower you to stay focused and do what you were called to do. Okay, the next thing I wanna tell you is you wanna sit down and write out your goals. Now, this right here I usually do in my personal time as I'm getting ready and I'm listening to a sermon or something, I like to write out my goals. And I always usually start with small goals like for that particular year, whatever those goals are, I love to write those out. But then, once I write out those goals, 
I decide to go ahead and plan and make sure I'm, everything I'm doing aligns to my big goal. That's what you want to do in this timing. You want to write out your top goals. Whatever your goals were for that year, you want to write that out. But then as you begin to plan your day, even if you are working and you're a busy college student or a busy mom, you want to make sure that one of your goals and one of your plans align to those goals. So for example, if I had to plan that I wanted my YouTube channel to grow, and this is when I was in college and I was a full-time biology major in undergrad, and I had a lot of classes and a lot of study, but I always knew I wanted to grow on YouTube. And so I made sure that even in my schedule, I always made time to do one thing a day towards my dream. And so sometimes that was sitting down, coming up with video content. Sometimes that was looking up videos that um, really inspired me and seeing how I could redo those videos, but do them with my own twist, right? Um, I would look up things like that. And so that is a great way that you can start to really maneuver through your day and saying, I'm going to do one thing a day towards my dream. And that is a big tip, guys, right there is before you can just jump into doing the things you want to do, build the business, whatever, you want to have the mindset that you're willing to do one thing a day towards your dream. And so you've got to make time for this thing. And so that is a great way. What I do in my personal time is I have to sit down and I would say, okay, I'm going to do this today towards my dream. Right. And so here recently we launched a magazine for my nonprofit and that was a dream of mine to launch a magazine. And so for a few months there, I had to make sure I scheduled time every day to make sure I worked on that dream. Okay. And so hopefully that helps you on your journey. And then guys, something else you do, let's say if you're busy mom working, try one thing a day. But if you're someone that has a little more time on your hands and you're really ready for this, I want to challenge you to pick a top three. This is something I had to transition into when I started to see my vision really start developing. I started getting traction, right? I went ahead and developed into having a top three. I have top three goals for the year, but I also have a top three thing I do every single day to get me to those goals. So example, if one of my goals was to save money, then I'm going to have a plan that day to make sure I'm still working on that go. If another one of my goals was, let's say, to lose 15 pounds, then I'm going to make sure that one of my top three of that day is going to lead me to that go. Also, if another one of my goals is to stay consistent all year long with YouTube, I'm going to make sure that one of my top three of my plans that day is going to lead me to that go. So I want you to be sure that you focus on three goals for the year, but you also focus on three things you do every day to get you to those goals, okay? And that is going to be very helpful to help you build a YouTube empire. And if you do this in the morning, guess what? Your day has such a great trajectory. You have such a passion for life. You have such a, a fire and a desire. Even when I used to work in nine to five, I would be at my nine to five knowing when I got off, I had three things to do towards my dream. Even on my nine to five job, I would be knowing when I get off all the thing, three things I was going to do to get me closer to my dream. And so I want to tell you that is some pivotal ways to make sure that you build a powerful, purposeful morning routine that leads you into a powerful, purposeful YouTube empire. Okay. Okay. Bonus tip number one is don't be afraid to dream big. And when I say this, I'm saying sometimes there's things that happen in our lives where we're like, oh, that could never be me. I could never do that. Right. We think things like that, even though we might slightly want it. And so I want to challenge you to put away the negative talks on your day to day and pay attention to the inner dialogue that goes on. See, there were times when I would be working towards my YouTube channel and I would see somebody else soaring and I would be like, oh, I don't think I could ever do it. I could never reach that. I could never do that until I realized that inner dialogue actually can hold you back. And so I decided to give myself permission to dream big and to believe that the dreams and the visions inside of me, that God was putting them there and that I should be able to achieve these things. If I say my God is who he is, I can achieve these things. And so that is exactly what I began to do. Okay. I decided that I was going to give myself permission to dream big and to grab a hold of these things and to say, no, if so-and-so has a magazine, I can have a magazine instead of the first thought said, oh no, no, you're a ministry. You shouldn't have a magazine. That makes no sense until I said, no, other people have magazines. I should have a magazine, right? I gave myself the permission to dream big. And so that's the very first bonus tip. Dream big, sis. You want to allow yourself to dream big and go after the things that God has told you to go after. The last but not least bonus tip is to show up as your better version every single day. I know I said it every single day. 
But this is gonna help you because that means you're not in competition with anyone else. You're only competing with who you were yesterday. So if yesterday you got upset and said some things, guess what? Today, you're gonna be better than that. You're gonna show up as a better version of that. If yesterday you felt like you wasn't very focused and you didn't even put any effort towards your dream, although you know it lives inside of you, then today you're gonna be a little different because today you're gonna actually make time and put some focus into that dream. If yesterday you were short-tempered and you wasn't happy, don't worry, today is a new day and so today, you're gonna to do better than you did yesterday. Today, you're gonna to take time for devotion. You're gonna figure out what's going on inside of your heart, what's causing these triggers, and how you can move forward better. So the bonus tip, but last but not least, right? Show up as your better version every single day. Not only in the physical, not only in the way you dress, boo, not only in the way you do your hair, not only in the way you beat your face, but show up even with your inside. Show up how you operate in your interactions with others. Show how you do it through your personality. Show up as your better version every single day. Okay, ladies, I am so happy that I got to shoot this video for you. I'm so excited and I hope that this video really inspires you to step into having more powerful and purposeful mornings, okay? But before you go, comment down below your biggest takeaway and also share this with one of your girlfriends that you know that wants to have more powerful and purposeful mornings, okay? So comment down below your biggest takeaway and share it with one of your girlfriends, boo, and I will see you in my next video. So I love you, girl. I will see you in my next one.